Right now, a Fox 26 follow-up to an exclusive story that we shared with you last night involving fentanyl and the death of a local 18-year-old. Since our story aired, several families have reached out saying this drug has taken one of their loved ones as well. Fox 26's Matthew Seedorf tonight speaking with another woman trying to reverse this deadly trend. Reactions continuing to pop up on our Fox 26 Facebook page. People across the Houston area commenting they've lost loved ones from fentanyl. Reacting to this news report from Wednesday. It's like this, this monster that you can't see. A Houston girl taking one pill laced with a dangerous drug, dying just 18 years old. This is something that's hitting home to, to everybody, and you don't have to be a drug user to be exposed to fentanyl poisoning. Elizabeth Dillander's son, Cade Webb, 20 years old. He was a lover and he had big goals and big dreams. He worked at a ski resort in Lake Tahoe and was expecting a baby daughter in December 2021 when he took a pill thinking it was Percocet, instead swallowing a deadly dose of fentanyl. Until it hits home or until it happens to you or your friend, we all as human beings have this like it's never going to happen to me. Um, mindset, but um, unfortunately, fentanyl um, is is pouring over here. In California, where Cade died, his mother has been on a mission to spread awareness. Alongside her nephew and Cade's cousin, San Francisco Giants pitcher Logan Webb, they've taken their story and Narcan to schools, so far speaking to more than 26,000 students about fentanyl. There's a lot of kids that aren't aware of the dangers. Now this motivated mom is back home in Texas, hoping to get her message into Houston area schools to teach children here one pill can kill. The only way to save a teenager or a young adult's life is by education and advocacy and by having access to Narcan. Reporting in Conroe, Matthew Seedorf, Fox 26 News. In case you missed it, the number of drug overdose deaths continues to climb in Texas and here in Harris County, the DEA seized enough fentanyl last year to kill everyone in the greater Houston area. Last night, we talked to a Houston mom who lost her daughter on fentanyl to fentanyl on Christmas Eve. Her heartbreaking story and our investigation on how drugs are entering Texas are located on our website right now, fox26houston.com.